Hey everybody, it's Michelle. Michelle Oak with Michelle Oakerson Vlog and Pensacola Watchdog. If you haven't subscribed to that other channel. Also, I have Make America Godly Again, MAGA. I don't have really hardly any content over there, but I, I came up with the name and I, I didn't want anybody else to take that name on YouTube, so I started a channel. Anywho, um... You know, it's more and more apparent every day that, uh, the division in America is this. All right, Juliet, just a minute, baby. Okay, I'll take that. Juliet, stop, baby. She wants me to lift that window. Um, the division that we have in America is 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 quite simply this. The division is. Uh, these people who have gotten rich off the backs of hardworking Americans by taxing us and over-regulating us to the point that we are so constricted. I mean, the American dream is possible, but I'm be honest with you, uh, it takes a lot of it takes a lot of work because I listened to Jay, uh, David Ramsey, and you know I know that we still can the the American dream can be done done however uh it is very very difficult with the things that they uh tax us with and over regulate us they want to know everything about your life and they're going to tax you on top of taxing you and on top of taxing you so i'm glad to see that my fellow uh americans who are black are finally waking up it there's i mean hard-working American citizens we are uh, we are united with our uh, our uh, black American citizens we, it, it, the fight is not against us against y'all the fight is against these elites and I don't care what what color they are these elites that um, they have no regard for life and they don't care um, who they have to walk over or kill or whatever to uh, ob obtain achieve their objective. Now, um, the only way we are going to beat this is for everybody to get involved. And, you know, we have to unite and we have to get involved. So, cause let me just give you a, a, a clear example. Underneath Interstate 110, um, there was a homeless encampment. And I remember back whenever, uh, whenever um, Mayor Robinson made the uh, the steps to to get rid of that homeless encampment under 110, under 110, uh, where 110, that bridge of 110 going north and south and now guess what they have there now now they have a really really nice skate park there for the youth right uh, well michelle are you against the youth no i'm not against the youth and i'm not against the youth having recreational uh facilities but what i am against is is treating human beings like they're mere trash that they they're, they don't. They don't. They're, nobody cares about them because that God knows that's not the that's not the stance for most Americans. And so, uh, you know, God will take a few people, and He can move mountains with it. And there's another story about the home, homeless. I'll have to get on here and tell you guys about this guy. It's called Sean's Outpost. And you know that they would not the county nor the city would help him set up facilities on a piece of land that he owned, that his, um, that his uh, friend left him. That's another story for another time. Guys, I gotta go in here and get my order. Love y'all, bye-bye.